Hey guys, Marco here, back once again from my color screen. Sorry, we've been a bit sparse lately, but I'm back with some great video tutorials to help make your Android phone look a whole lot better. Let us begin with today's Android lock screen tutorial. Do it. And there we have it folks, Pedro Paniago does it again with another fantastic looking lock screen. This one titled Sunset Lock Screen and I don't know, something that's combined with the wallpaper and this clock and all the notifications, it just simply, simply looks fantastic. I don't know, I just had to have this on my phone straight away. So having a closer look, we got that amazing looking sunset wallpaper that you're obviously welcome to change at your will. But having a closer look, we got this time that looks fantastic. I don't know, that little 8 there just blows my mind every time I look at it as well as your missed calls and missed SMSs that you have below you as well. Topping it off, you got this brilliant little unlock button here that once you swipe down, boom, phone unlocks and you're ready to begin your day. So if you'd like to know how to recreate this Android lock screen onto your phone, you definitely want to go check out today's video tutorial. Let us begin. Cool beans. So starting off, a few things that you'll need before you begin. Check in the links in the description below for all the apps and resources that you need. First one that, you, as you can see here, I've got a good file explorer. This is ES File Explorer. Just because we're going to be doing some copying and pasting, you can do it on your computer, onto your phone, but I just prefer this method. It's just a bit more simple. So make sure that you've copied the Sunset Lock Screen folder here onto your phone. If it comes in a .raw format, remember to extract it using, you can basically just use ES File Explorer to do that. So once you've extracted it and you've got all the necessary files, remember you're going to be definitely needing Widget Locker. It's a paid app, but I can guarantee you now it's one of the best lock screen apps that you'll ever see. Next will be UCCW for the UCCW skin, and that's about it. You're, you can off once you've got all of those, you can begin with the setup. So the last thing you'll have to do before you start customizing your lock screen is to copy that slider, that one that slid at the bottom. You want to copy that into your widget locker folder. So all you'd have to do is hold down on it, select copy, and then go back, and then this will be the path that you'll need to go into. From your SD card, your main area here, you want to look for data. You want to then look for com.tesla.coil.widgetlocker, go into there, go into themes, and you should have one or two themes already installed, but all you have to do now is just paste that zip file, and everything is good to go. So remember that, and that's about it. You've got everything that you need, you've got your wallpaper already on your phone, so let us begin. So starting off, we're going to be going into our widget locker just like this. If you have any apps or widgets already on your lock screen, you just want to hold down on them and select remove just like I'm doing like this. So make sure that you have a completely blank screen. Great, so once you have a blank screen and I guess you'll just have a different wallpaper like here, you want to go into your widget locker settings. So simply tap that little icon there at the top right. This will open up your widget locker settings, which really look really good. From here, you want to jump right into look and feel, and then go. You definitely want to have alternative wallpaper selected. Once you have, you can now go into your select wallpaper, use your preferred gallery app. I always like to go for quick pick and just find that wallpaper that you've copied onto your phone. So here it would be in sunset lock screen. There it is. Only thing you want to do now is just make it a bit bigger like that. So maybe get a little bit to the left like this and select save boom it's going to set your wallpaper like that your background tint you're welcome to tint it a bit if you want just to make it look extra sunset -y, i guess you could call it but yeah call it what you will you can tint it if you want next we're going to go into our layout where we want to definitely deselect automatically determine grid size as well as pull down this anchor over here see it should be over there as stock you want to drag it all the way to the bottom and then from here you want to definitely go for a other a 12 by 12 or an 11 or 12 by 11 grid size just to make sure that everything can be customized according to what your phone is so once that's done you've got everything here you do want to select save and it'll set up everything for you just like that next thing that you want to have to do is to deselect label shortcuts and enable hide notification bar that's at one at the top here like this as we do not need it in this current setup so that's all of that done we can now go back and now a lot of people do complain that when you push the menu button say for this one over here it unlocks the phone straight away 
I don't really know what Widget Locker was thinking, but with that setup, but there is a workaround for that. All you want to do is to now go into advanced setup. You definitely want to select widget overlap as we'll be overlapping our custom slider with that UCCW skin. So, but don't worry about that. We'll get to that later, but make sure you got widget overlap enabled. From here, we want to go into home helper and make sure that you have these three selected. It'll be home helper component, home helper block home and block home in other apps. So make sure you've got those selected as then when you select your menu button, it'll just bring you up into the stock lock screen. They just have that as a safety measure, I guess, just in case something goes very wrong and you can't unlock your phone. It's not cool at all. So there is all your settings done. We can now select back. And there we have our widget locker set up blank, ready for the UCCW skin. Awesome stuff. So for this UCCW skin, very easy to do. You want to hold down on the home screen and select widgets. Sorry, lock screen. So what you want to do now is to scroll all the way to the bottom of your widgets and you want to select UCCW. Now, as always with UCCW, it does not matter at all what size you go for. So even if I went for a 4x3, you're just going to be resizing it anyway. It does not matter. From here, you want to select use up at the top there, at the top right. And you want to find that folder that you've copied onto your phone. There it is. It's got that slide underscore lock screen dot use up. Remember guys, don't try and unzip this or do anything with it. UCCW knows what to do. So just put it in on your phone and UCCW will pick it up. So just leave it as it is. You just want to select it now and it'll definitely then start importing it onto your phone. It'll come up with a little white hand like this. From here, you just want to select that hand and hopefully it should appear. If not, if it's got an ugly white rectangle, you want to delete it off your screen, get rid of it. And then when you want to import it again, don't select user, just select it from that list of UCCW skins and then it should apply. So all I did now is hold down and select resize and I'm just starting to resize it just so it makes it look good. So I reckon that looks about right. I'm just going to tap away now and everything looks pretty good. Now, if you want to select it, this will open up your UCCW editor. Say if something looks a bit skewed to you, say if you want to move the time in that, you'll just select your background here, which brings up your select object list and you can choose whatever. So if you want to select your time, for example, move it a bit to the left or to the right, you can just select position and then move it however you want it. So you also have the faster movement there as well. But however, if you like it just like it is, you don't want it to open up. Well, I don't recommend that you uh, enable hotspots so that it opens up the time or clock or whatever because then if you bump your phone things could get pretty ugly all you have to do now is select back and it should stay the same but now all we want to do is hold down on it easy way here is to select block clicks so now when you select it nothing will happen which is exactly what we want we just want it for a pure aesthetic appearance from here we just need to add in our custom slider and then we are done Alrighty then, so for this custom slider, very, very easy to do on Widget Locker. We just simply have to hold down on the lock screen, select custom slider. Now all you'd have to do is just choose that theme, that minimal theme, and you want to scroll down, and it should be called minimalish like that. Just need to select it. We don't want that clock up there. We want it to get rid of it. We just need to select or deselect show clock, and it should be gone. We should just have that unlock like that. All you have to do now is select done like that. Wherever it appears, say if it's over there, we just need to select resize. And all you'd have to do now is to resize it like that. Now for a very key component in this video, if we tap away now, this might still be in the way. It's, I got quite lucky there that it's, this was in front. But always remember that if one gets in front of the other, to hold down on say for this locker one and say bring to front. That'll guarantee that this will be in the front or alternatively, you can just hold down on the time and then say send to back. And there we have our home screen complete. All you have to do now is to unlock your phone like this. See if it works. Let's just turn it off our screen uh, like this and then turn it back on again. Boom. There we have a brilliant looking lock screen comes with a brand looking unlocker at a time that is easy, very easy to see. I really enjoy this lock screen. So thank you very much guys for watching Marco here from my color screen. Don't forget to give us a like if you enjoyed this video or subscribe if you haven't already. Also, don't forget to check out our Facebook, Google Plus, Twitter and Instagram communities. Thank you very much guys for watching Marco here from my color screen. And as always, don't stop customizing.